move your wheels out closer to the house of Rome. What's up, ladies and lifers? How's it going today? And everybody else that's clicked onto the video, today we're gonna do something pretty easy. Today we're gonna do something pretty easy. Pretty easy. It's a uh, car modification. And I know uh, most of my, my videos have been cooking, but the channel is supposed to be cooking cars and cool stuff. So I thought I need to step it up and get some car stuff going. This is what we're gonna be installing today. It's really quick and easy. These are wheel spacers, right? So they go outside of your rotor and before the wheel. So the sandwich in between the wheel and the rotor. And what they do is they bring the wheels out a little bit. Um, this one I think is 25 millimeters. Um, but yeah, they, they bring the wheels out a little bit to give it a more aggressive look. Uh, most cars come with the wheels sunken in past the body. I'll show you that in a second. And then uh, with these wheel spacers, brings them out, just like uh, supercars have their wheels all the way out to the edge of the body, right? Because they really want to have as much tire as they can because of traction. Well, I'm not replacing the wheels and tires right now, so uh, I can't afford that right now. So we're doing wheel spacers. And you don't need too many tools for this. For my car, just need a 21 millimeter socket, deep socket. And I'll be using this um, electric racket just to help out, make it a little quicker. And then we got ourselves a breaker bar because the last people who put the tires on before me really cranked it on there. So and I know I tested a couple of them uh, previously and they were way too tight to get off with just, um, with just the tire iron. Sure, you put on your e brakes. Guys and gals. Hi, yes, this place is a mess. We just went through a hurricane two weeks ago. So we have 80s and 75. We leave by 8. So this will be 80 at 0. I think it's 81 foot pounds. Right there, 80, 81. Alright. But I got my breaker bar, my torque, torque wrench, my electric drive, and we got four jack. Right, let's loosen these bad boys up. Doing star pattern. Set to loose. See how much this thing helps out? No, oh, shh. Let me help that out. Oh, 
All right, let's put these on. Look at that. And these bolts don't stick up further. Then. Because this is a 25 millimeter, or however thick it is, I'll have to link it in the uh, um, description, not description, but the video. Because this is 25 millimeters, or however thick it is, these don't stick out past that. If they did, you would have to get something and grind those down. Luckily, I don't have to. And because this is a red sport model, Told that these 25s will be fine. Clear the calipers with the rims. Alright. Go ahead and put this to tighten. Did I say this was easy? Yeah, you want to hand thread these on here first to make sure they're in right. You don't want a machine to test it out because I'm going to strip the bolts. Okay, let's see. They both in. Three. Two or three turns. You know it's good. So what we'll do is drop it here. Those wheels are way out there now. Whew. Maybe sticking a couple millimeters out further. Whew. All right, Let's see if we can get a good shot from right here. All right, if you look closely at this, you see it disappears when you go side to side on it, right? That's because it's back behind it. The tire is actually behind the wheel well, right? See, this, this is the side that I haven't done yet. See how it just disappears? It's sunken in behind it. You can't, it's hard to explain. You'd have to kind of see it in person, I think. Let's see, this will show you. See how I'm next to it and they're, they're sticking out a little bit, just a tad bit? See now. Look, my hand, the tire is pushed beyond the wheel well. Let's look at the back too. Look at that. 
It's a lot more aggressive, isn't it? It's just hard to explain. If you look there, see me close up. If you look there, can I see it? Look there. I can totally tell. It's a big difference to me. All right, I'm gonna finish up this side and I'll show you how it looks like. All right, she's all done. I swear it's hard to tell in person how good she looks, but it just makes it look that much better. It's always the little things, right? So like the window tint gives 5% better looks or 10% better looks. Will Spacers gives 10% looks. Now I need some lower rings. rings. Look at that gap. It really stands out now. <sighs> Hands are all dirty. Better go wash them before I start her up. All right. All right. I think we're good. Do I think that was worth it? I think I picked them up for... Let's see, $80. It's a little bit higher than I would have paid, but I picked it up from Amazon, not just uh, some no-name seller and stuff like that. So if it messes up, I should be able to take it back or something. But uh, I think it was worth it. It looks great, just adds a little more. And hopefully I can just do one of these every, you know, a little bit of addition every month, month and a half. And we'll see what she looks like next year. All right, all right. Easy. Out. Peace. All right, I want to show you what I was talking about. The other side, I already taken off before. When I was testing it out, but this side I didn't. This is how hard the last people had these on. I'm using a full breaker bar. It's like a two footer. And it's taking all my strength and the leverage. Note to people out there, don't tighten them up that much. Jeez. It was my workout for the day. Lazy. Life for us is lazy. Life for us. Stand to get we get tricks. Stand to says we get tricks. Lazy. Life